Hi friends, it's good to see you. This is Karen's Community Kitchen and today's recipes are spinach salad and potato salad. The reason we're doing both of them is because pretty much with the exception of the spinach and the potatoes, the ingredients are all really the same and they both focus on eggs, specifically hard boiled eggs as your source of protein. So you can, uh, you can treat these as a meal salad if you like or as a nice a complement to a barbecue. They're classic Canadian um, meals, and yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and make them. So, I have all my ingredients ahead of time that I've done for you. I've boiled the potatoes, so you want, um, I like to use new potatoes because they retain their shape, um, but a really kind of mashed up Potato salad is really yummy too. It just depends on the texture that you're after. So I cook these ahead of time because you want them cold. This is not a classic German hot potato salad. This is more a classic Canadian cold potato salad. So we have potatoes. We have some lovely crisp bacon. Um, turkey bacon works really well for this. So we're, we're working on the potato salad here. And um, I'm gonna put in garlic scapes for some nice crunch. This time of year, garlic scapes are readily available. They give you a lovely mild garlic crunch. Alternatively, if you don't have garlic scapes available, celery is really good. I'm also going to put in some, whoops, wrong, wrong bowl. That's the spinach salad onion. Some chopped sweet onion. You could use sweet onion or you could use red onion. I wouldn't recommend a classic cooking onion, regular cooking onion, because they're a bit sharp. So you want the sweeter, milder onion. So that's what we're gonna do. Those are our potato salad ingredients, our spinach salad ingredients. Nothing more than spinach. I happen to have it in the bag, although it is beautiful, fresh in the spring. Um, and the sliced sweet onions or red onions, if you like. I'm also going to throw some bacon into it because I happen to like bacon in my salads. We're going to put a little bit of feta cheese in the spinach salad. It just gives a really nice tangy, creamy crunch. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any strawberries here, but let me tell you, strawberries in a spinach salad, primo. And then hard boiled eggs. So I've boiled these ahead of time as well so that they are cool. But I did want to show you how to hard boil an egg. Um, and this is how my mom taught me to do it. There, for every person that cooks a hard boiled egg, there's a different way to cook a hard boiled egg. They talk about fresh eggs versus old eggs how to not get the gray ring around the yolk, the best way to do it. This is what my mom taught me. It has always worked, it has never failed me. The one thing I will say I know for sure is that the older the egg, the easier it is to peel. So I'm not sure the science behind it, I just know that that is the truth. So we start with one egg. Mom always told me to prick a little tiny hole in the end. I just use a push pin and push it right through. This, she says, gives, because it as the egg cooks, it expands. Um, so this gives the egg white a chance, sort of a place to come out so that it doesn't make a mess of the shell. Um, I will tell you that doesn't always work, but because my mom taught me how to do it, that's how I do it. So they go into the pot, you cover them. We're only cooking one, but you cover it with cold water. And this is all in the timing. So cover the egg with cold water. We're gonna put it on the stove and we're going to bring it to a boil. And it cooks for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna set a timer for that. Not that I expect you to watch all that. So you cook them for 15 minutes, pardon me, let me rephrase that. You bring it to a boil first. As soon as it comes to a boil, turn the heat off, then set your timer for 15 minutes. That's what I, I got mixed up on that. So that's how you know when they're perfectly cooked. So I've done that, and here are my perfectly peeled, hard boiled eggs. So we need them sliced for the spinach salad and chopped for the potato salad. So. Let's get started. First of all, we're gonna chop up some potatoes. You want them into nice bite-sized pieces. 
That's a good size, probably about the size of a quarter. Because you have, you know, keep in mind that these have to go on the end of a fork and go into your mouth, so you don't certainly don't want them this big. So we're going to cube up our potatoes. Basically, a potato salad is a mayonnaise and vinegar kind of a dressing. Um, there are lots of different ways you can do it. You can certainly do an oil and vinegar dressing. I happen to like a honey mustard dressing on mine. So that's what I'm going to do. I think it goes really well with the bacon, the smokiness of the bacon. So we're gonna do that. Cut these up. New potatoes, oh my gosh. They are my favorite thing in the whole world. Just simply boiled and drowning in butter. I um, won't tell you how many I can eat. Let's just say that I've been known to have that for dinner and nothing else and leave it at that. So, my kids don't share my passion for new potatoes, but that is something that another one of those things that I learned from my mom. Okay, so we've got our potatoes are chopped up. Now I'm gonna chop up a hard boiled egg. Quantity wise, this is one of those things that it really doesn't matter. If you like hard boiled eggs, put in lots of hard boiled eggs. If you don't like hard boiled eggs, don't put them in or don't put in too many. I happen to like hard boiled eggs in my potato salad, which is the only time I'll eat a hard boiled egg, so go with it. And there's that. And put in a little bit of the onion. Not a lot. Just a mild little bit, of the nice mild sweet onion. Put in our garlic scapes for crunch. And we are going to set that, oh, and bacon. Now, this is a um, regular bacon, turkey bacon, it's all good. So that's the basic salad. So now we're going to mix our dressing. Really simple, straightforward dressing. Mustard, mayonnaise, honey. A little bit of salt and pepper. And if you like, you can put a little bit of thyme in it. So your proportions are basically two mayonnaise to one mustard and one honey. So I just use regular yellow mustard. You could use Dijon mustard if you wanted it all bougie and fancy. I'm not a fan of the flavor of Dijon mustard, so I'm not going to use it. And that was a bit of a mess when it opened, so excuse me while I wipe my hands. And then some honey, which hopefully I can open the jar. Yep, got it. And I need another spoon. Oh, this honey, look at this, it's get, starting to get hard. So I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave for a minute start to liquefy it. And while I am doing that, and we're waiting for that, why don't we get started on the spinach salad? This one's so easy. It's got the beautiful washed fresh spinach. Now, Again, sweet onion. I've cut them into strips. You can see this is a sliced situation here with the onion. Red onion is really nice. I happen to like the way the red onion looks. Visually, it's much prettier. If you are using a red onion, I would strongly recommend that you soak it. Slice it up and soak it in a dish of water. That, whoops, that, um, removes a bit of the sharpness, the spiciness of it. Okay, so now our honey is nice and liquidy. So we're just gonna pour in a 
tablespoon of honey. And then we're gonna mix this all up. FYI, this also makes a really good chicken dip. If you want, you can add a little bit of thyme. Say hello to my dogs! Apparently someone's at the door. Sorry about that, people. <laughs> Um, if I knew better how to edit, we would stop the video, but we don't, so. <laughs> Love my puppies. There's Remy. Good girl. Okay, so there's your dressing. So I'm just going to give this a little taste. Make sure it's what I want it to be. Like I said, you can put a little thyme in it if you wanted. A little dill would be nice too. So I'm just going to give this a little bit on the back of my hand. Yup. I actually think it needs a little more mayo. So we're going to throw a little bit more mayo in there. Always however you like. So that's going to go on our potatoes. Give this a really good mix. This salad is really good if you make it ahead of time. I mean, let me tell you, it's good to eat now, but it's even better tomorrow. And that's the nice thing about this salad is that it will keep for a day or two. So that is all you need to do for a classic potato salad. So I hope you like that one. Now let's get on to the dressing for the spinach salad. I'm also going to turn off the eggs because they have started to boil. So this is where you turn the heat off and let them sit for 15 minutes. So off timer. And then you run them under cold water to stop the cooking process and we're good to go. So. Uh, spinach salad dressing. So traditionally, the oil in the dressing, because this is a vinaigrette as opposed to a mayonnaise best dressing, traditionally the oil or the fat is bacon grease. So once you've fried your bacon, you set, you drain, um, take the thing out and you save the bacon grease. So I actually did that. So there's my bacon grease. If you are not using bacon, uh, that's just fine. Olive oil makes a great substitution. You needn't worry about that. This is just sort of, you know, the traditional way to do it. So basically, bacon grease and honey and apple cider vinegar. So your traditional um, proportions are two oil to one acid. So we are going to, there's your oil, so there's your, and then we're gonna add in the honey for sweetness and then two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I like apple cider vinegar. It's very, very sharp, but it makes great salad dressing. So we're gonna put in two tablespoons of that. that all together and this also calls for a little bit of mustard so when you're making a vinaigrette mustard is an emulsifier so this is, this is what will bring the fat and the oil together so we're gonna put just a little tiny bit of mustard in there Ugh, I should have paid more attention to that because I just, just made another gross mess okay a little bit of mustard And again, we're gonna taste this. Yep, that's good. It does 
I think need a little bit of salt. So let's get that, just a pinch of salt in there. And then we're gonna now, for the um, <laughs> potato salad, we chopped. For the spinach salad, we're going to slice. So we want, because that, it looks pretty when it stays together. So we're going to give nice slices of hard boiled egg. You can see I'm not having particularly a lot of success with this, but this is what it's going to look like. So we're gonna put our dressing on this spinach salad. We're gonna put a little bit of bacon in here. We're going to toss this around. And then if you want to plate that, it looks very nice. Put on a plate like this. And then you place your hard boiled eggs on top. Of course, hopefully yours look nicer than mine did. But that is basically what it, this classic spinach salad would look like. So you could chop the egg if you want and sprinkle that on the top and sprinkle it on the bacon. It's really up to you however you want to present it. But there is your spinach salad and your potato salad, so you're good to go. If anybody invites you to a barbecue, you've got like two salads up your sleeve that you can take. They make a great lunch. They make a side with a piece of grilled chicken or a burger and uh, perfect for barbecue season and fresh farmer's market produce. So I hope you enjoy those. Take good care. Bye.